It felt a little bit different stepping out the door earlier this morning. The humidity did come up last night and yeah, it was a little sticky for us with temperatures in the comfortable range in the 70s as we look back from our Harrisburg Skycam to just before 11 o'clock. But the humidity, well, it continued to rise and so too did the temperatures. Now that uh, we had saw a little bit of sunshine, t uh, topped out very close to 90 degrees in the capital city. And as we go to take a live look now, we're starting to see those clouds peeling away here in Harrisburg. 87 degrees, the latest update dew points into the mid 70s. It's very muggy right now in Harrisburg with a southeast breeze at about five miles per hour. Our other current temperatures are being held down just a little bit around Lancaster and Reading. Same story in Coatesville where the clouds are just a little bit thicker. Those thick clouds are now moving away and that is basically just some cooler air loft and upper level disturbance which has to clear the region. Farther west where the sunshine has been out a little bit longer, it's a touch warmer. 90 degrees in Chambersburg at this hour, Lewistown at 84 and we are not seeing any rainfall on radar at uh, as of right now. We are seeing these low, uh, lower clouds now moving off to the east and then sunshine breaking back out as you saw from that Harrisburg sky cam. We're actually getting into a little bit of a break here in the northwest part of the state, but there are more showers and thunderstorms that are firing here just to the north and east of Detroit. I expect this broken line to continue across the Commonwealth late this evening and more likely towards the overnight hours tonight. We're waiting on a cold front. The front itself is way back here into the northern plains, and that's that front that uh, really triggered some severe weather in the Ohio Valley yesterday. Not going to be the case today. Overall, though, out ahead of that front, some very muggy weather for us, and we're keeping the muggy conditions around. That's the big headline in the weather department here into tomorrow, the end of the work week. So the News 8 Storm Team forecast with Carlisle in the background. Of course, Carlisle uh, Corvettes going on, uh, Corvettes at Carlisle, I should say, at the Carlisle Fairgrounds, all into the weekend. And uh, as we go into tonight, partly cloudy sky. Guys, muggy conditions lows down into the low 70s. Tomorrow we will return back to near 90 degrees, but the humidity will be higher, so the heat index values will become a factor. Probably topping out in the mid to upper 90s is what it will feel like tomorrow afternoon under partly sunny skies. Once the front clears through and pushes down farther to our southeast, the temperatures will come down a little bit. Still warm in the upper 80s, but it won't be quite as humid and will keep the mostly sunny skies around to kick off the weekend. Weather and your health for tomorrow. The pollen and mold levels on the low end. The air quality is in the moderate range. It's just kind of sultry out. The air hasn't moved around a whole lot, so that um, the ozone layer near the surface is uh, what we're watching for. And the UV index into tomorrow is at an eight. Your burn time is about 25 minutes. So wear that sunscreen. You also want to stay hydrated into tomorrow with the uh, warmer temperatures. So again, we've got these clouds now moving off to the east. We're getting a bit of a break in the western part of the state. And then we're waiting on the cold front near the Great Lakes. Let's time it out for you here. Predictor brings that broken line of showers and thunderstorms towards us. But notice the time on this. So we're after midnight here, and we're just now starting to see a few of those showers and storms working in from the northwest. It basically falls apart, and I think that's what will happen into tomorrow morning. We start off the morning hours and into the midday hours, back up to near 80 degrees, into the mid-80s in the afternoon as that front begins to push to the south and east of us. 90 for the high, so we don't get a huge break from the heat behind that cold front as it settles down to our southeast. In fact, as we go into Sunday, another warm, or excuse me, Saturday, another warm day, upper 80s to near 90 degrees, but the humidity will not be quite as high. So the three-day forecast, warm temperatures here the next three days into the weekend itself, but heat index values tomorrow are going to be in the mid-90s, probably pretty close to the actual air temperatures for those heat index through the weekend. So a great weekend overall to do anything outdoors. You won't have any rain that will uh, ruin any of your plans, but rain chances will start to climb as we go into Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And also into Thursday, temperatures will fall down a little bit. Uh, we're watching what could be some remnants of whatever's going on down into the tropics. That is that Invest 99L we've been keeping to talk about. Uh, so towards the end of this coming week, some of those remnants might try to work their way towards us. We'll keep an eye on it. A lot can change with the track of that. So stay tuned to the News 8 Storm Team. Invest 99L sounds like some kind of an alien <laughs> movie or something. Alien robot or something. Yeah. Yeah. It's making me nervous. Thank you, Matt. Yeah.